Hello everyone, welcome to the part 2 of my animation blend tree tutorial. I assume you already watched my part 1 tutorial, so you can continue off of that. Currently, we just have blend 2s for every single animation, and in the script, we are setting the values manually. However, there's a way to do this automatically with a few new nodes. So I've just gone ahead and cleared out our animation tree. I'm going to add in the animations from the animation player. So, animation will be idle, and it will be idle. I'll do this for all of them. Now, instead of using blend twos, we can use a transition node. Let's call this movement, and you can click on it. Inside of inputs, add element, and we'll add an element for each of our animations that we want to input into the transition. I've gone ahead and added idle running and sitting. However, I haven't added jump as you'll see in a moment. So let's drag these in. If you take this to the output and head over to the main scene, make sure that the animation tree is active we can select which one we're currently on. However, you'll see that it does snap to these even though we're supposed to be smoothly transitioning. You can do this in the node by clicking on it in X fade time. Let's do 0.1 seconds. Now, you'll see it fades. You also have options to add curves for the transition time as well. However, I won't be going over that in this tutorial. Heading over to our player's script now, inside of the handle animations function, we can replace the idle run and sit, and we're gonna replace that with Anim tree dot set parameters slash we named it movement so movement slash transition request and we want to enter in the name of the transition input so for idle we'll do idle and we'll copy this over and input it into our run and our sit and simply change these names. And now this will do the exact same thing. And we also no longer need the update tree. And we also no longer need these values, the blend speed variable, the need to update tree. And now for the jump animation, since we don't actually want to stay on the jump while jumping, we simply want to jump and then be done with it. We can use what's called a one shot. So I'll create a new node called one shot. We'll just call this jump. In the input, we'll use the movement. And in the shot, we'll connect the animation jump and we'll connect this to the output. And now if we head over to the animation tree, make sure it's active. And we select this drop down, press fire. You'll see that we jump and then we go back down. Now, once again, we have the issue where it kind of snaps back to the previous animation. You can simply adjust the fade in and the fade out time. So let's just do 0.1 for those. And now if we press fire, you'll see that it smoothly transitions to the previous animation. Now, since we don't want to mess with the actual current animations running, we're going to delete this. We're also going to remove it from the enums. And now we're going to create a simple function. You can call it whatever you'd like. I'll just call it jump for now. And then we will call anim tree dot set parameters. And we called it jump. So jump request comma animation node one shot dot one shot fire and for testing i've gone ahead and added in a simple input event that will call this function we also no longer need to pass in delta as the animation tree will handle that for us and you can call handle animations on process however you could make it more efficient where you simply call it only when you do a certain input so let's say you're moving forward you could then call handle animations with the new current animation anyways guys i hope you found this story helpful if you have questions or comments please leave them down below and don't forget to like and subscribe thank you